Well, I gotta say, today was actually a really, really cool day. I uh, met some incredible people. The weather, the weather was perfect. It was a high of 79 degrees, and uh, man, just a nice, cool breeze all day. Uh, spent some time on the chainsaw. Got uh, a couple cool pieces roughed out. I'll go ahead and show you those now. So this is the rough out part. That's as far as I'm gonna take it with the chainsaw. This one's actually gonna be holding a heart here. This little dude, he just kind of looks a little curious to me. But I left him inside the log. And my original intention with it was to have him sitting. And uh, when I carved it, it did not want to be sitting. <laughs> so ended up wanting to do that. Uh, now this one, just a standard little stump there. And this one as well. But this is actually a really beautiful piece of cedar. Uh, it's all, all heartwood. Um, oh, and so I think what I'm going to do when I finish this, I'm going to take the wire brush to it and get rid of all this loose stuff out and then really just bring out all that, that beautiful grain underneath. Uh, now this one, this was a really fun piece. I actually hadn't done one like this in a while. And it's the first one I've done exactly like this. Now I've done them laying in a log. You can kind of see here, he's got a shoulder, little arm, he's got another arm wrapped around his little ears and head. So obviously that'll be finished. I'm going to keep the log natural. But it grew so funky that on this back side, you can still see some of the bark is there. It looked like his little hip was hanging out. And so when I got to like this portion here with the chainsaw I happen to look over and see this little hump here and in my head it's kind of like he's laying in the log so he's got the one paw here this leg is kicked out and he's got a little paw here his little, little tail sticking out the backside like that so kind of a cool piece so uh, he's laying on a log in a log at the same time and then I think I'm going to sand this down nice and smooth um, put a nice little clear cut on top of this. But the coolest thing that happened today, and I was not expect, well, I was not expecting it, was a, a really good buddy of mine hooked me up today. And man, I just couldn't be more thankful for him. I'll show some some videos of that now. Got a fat bob's woodco vinyl on the garage door it's called a camo black and it might be a little hard to see but there is like some satin some flat and some gloss finish in it what's really crazy if you look at it this way you have no idea what it's saying but as far as laying it out he did an absolutely perfect job it's so cool so cool. So I'm actually I'm gonna put a little light that shines down at night onto it. And I think I need to get a little light to shine up on the on the Macola there. Um, but that was awesome. That was so cool to me. And uh, he went above and beyond. And I actually have the matching vinyls for the FJ now. And uh, I had went to the shop and designed it with him like a year ago and I've kept this piece of paper and my clipboard and I just had the time to, to get it over there because they would need it for a couple days and it's just been so busy so as soon as soon as I get the doors back on which I think I need to I don't know the weather's so nice though but the the graphics are gonna look so good it was a, such a cool day such a cool day I sold some shirts sold some bears Sold some more merch. 
I was just feeling really blessed with that. Got some incredible people from Indiana, Texas, all over the place. Let me see if I can find this paper. I just went through my clipboard the other day. And it uh, started accumulating things for a while. I'm just to find out. So with the FJ and the vinyls on it, so this was the the design. So this section here is actually going to wrap. It's going to wrap around the hood and kind of be turned sideways, so it won't be sitting there flat like that. But on the sides there, how cool does that look? Man, I cannot wait to get that put on, just from both sides. This was actually before, these two pictures aren't my FJ. This is before I put the fender flares on and all that stuff. And so that's what, uh, that was representing the fender flares there. But man, I cannot wait. So as soon as Pop comes into town, I'm going to, uh, have him help me put the doors back on so I get the logos put back on and uh, I'm excited it's a beautiful creative day I uh, worked on a sign it's getting warmer afternoon tomorrow afternoon and so I got it all routed out and painted and then here it's called cedar stone I think I'm gonna wood burn like a little slate with a little tree I don't know if I'm going to leave it just off-centered on the one side or do it on both sides yet. Uh, but I'll decide that in the morning. I might do something here with a little cedar tree or vice versa. Come over here with a little cedar tree. This is a beautiful piece of cedar. And so as soon as you put clear coat to it, it's going to look absolutely incredible. Um, still on the sides here, i got a couple more things. Like I said, to do my, my rustic finish, what I call it. And so what I'll do is I'll actually burn this. Hit it with a little more spray paint on the inside there. Kind of burn burn this around so it looks a little more weathered. And then go ahead and hit it with that clear coat so it gets put back together. Well, that was a little update. Today is September 2nd. And, uh, yeah, it's a super cool day. It's uh, going to be a busy, busy weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up some there. It's about 8.30 now. And it's kind of winding down to the day. And uh, so I'm going to get up early tomorrow morning. I'm trying to get some errors done. Story of my life. Um, but what a, what a blessing. But this is my favorite part of the day. I just kind of sit here and I reflect. Think about tomorrow. And kind of reminisce on what happened today and so I'm gonna have <laughs> this is terrible camera work um, I'm gonna edit the carving video tonight and get that up uh, and get it done and yeah so I had the way I was doing it I had an old phone an old Galaxy Note 10 and uh, so I was using that phone to record and this uh, a Note 20 I was using this one to record at the same time um, but they both got full of memory, or not full of memory, but yeah, they got full, the memory got full. Um, so I was trying to do some videos, it would just stop halfway through, I had to go through and delete a bunch of stuff, so I'm looking into uh, getting an actual camera, like a video camera to, and a memory card, I don't know. I'm just doing everything off my phone. <laughs> so, uh, all the editing app and everything I use on my phone, um. But yeah, that's just a little update from from today. Um, I did have some friends of mine. They're going to commission some piece, not commission some piece, but they're going to uh, set some pieces here and uh, sell them here. And they do lathe work, which is beautiful. I'll go ahead and do. So as soon as I get the shelves put up over here and all that section, this will actually all get moved over there. But they do uh, this beautiful little ring box or candy jar. Q-tip holder, 
a walnut bowl, cedar bowls. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to have those here for them. I think they'll do really well. And it just adds one more thing to the uh, to the shop here. Um, we got some big things happening within the next few weeks. Uh, I'm gonna be growing. The business is gonna be growing. I'm gonna have uh, another person here to to help me with the business side of stuff. Everybody got mufflers today, <laughs> and uh, I'm excited about it. I'm going to it's gonna allow me an opportunity to probably do some more of this, free up some time to get into some other things, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a, a, a great addition. I'm excited and trying to fix things now. So we have a couple projects in the background I'm working on and a couple more video ideas. If you guys have any any suggestions, I'm open to them. Um, I'm just kind of doing this as I go. I don't really have like a, a schedule or a, I'm gonna make this kind of video today, that kind of video. My day, every day, and almost on an hourly basis changes constantly. Uh, I never know who's gonna walk up or what's gonna happen, and it's awesome. So uh, it keeps uh, keeps everything interesting. Um, I do forget to record a lot of stuff all the time, and it's a weird balance because before I would be so focused on trying to be like in the moment that I would never like really take a lot of pictures. And now I'm like trying to be extra conscious of taking videos and doing different things. But really big day. Uh, I have some another friend of mine. Oh, what up? Yeah. So they do this uh, big tractor show every year, and this was actually the fourth annual one. And uh, a guy named Ralph is just a, a wonderful dude, just a good old man. And uh, so he asked me a little while back if I would mind putting a, a sponsorship in their little thing here. So he dropped off a, a book that I wasn't able to go. I had a couple pieces due that weekend that I had to get done, and so. Uh, if you guys are in the area, they're trying to plan it around the same time every year, but I'll keep you updated on that next year. Uh, I'm going to do some more things, some carving-wise for them. But in the book, bam, Fat Bob's would go in there. So cool. So cool. I know it's in so little, and, uh, to see like the vinyl on the door, the the coffee cups, the shirts, the hats. I mean, all of this started with just an idea. And I remember my very first shirt. And uh, a friend of mine got me linked up with this company here that does incredible work. Um, and I got my very first shirt made. And I'll tell you, that's like a humbling experience because, I don't know, it's like a proud moment. Like a proud dad moment. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but it's like, this is my baby. And to see, to see that on a shirt, which, and again, it sounds so little, but it's, it's so cool. Um, I'll actually walk around town or if I'm at places and I, I see a Fat Bob shirt on, and it's like, man, it just blows my mind that, you know, selling like t-shirts and all that is such a cool thing to me because it's it's so personal. Like it's my company that you're representing. And it's, you know, they chose to be a part of that and I couldn't be happier. That vinyl today, when he showed up and I was like a little kid in a candy store. So super cool. Super cool. Ralph with this. It's just a, all around a great day. Weather was perfect. Got to get biscuits and gravy for breakfast. I ain't it. <laughs> and uh, spent a few hours on the saw today. And then my chain broke. Chain snapped off. So first thing in the morning, I got to go to either the loads or the co-op. And uh, I get to go there and get a new bar and chain, which is always great. Probably shouldn't go to the co-op because every time I go in there, I leave with a new saw. So, a little spoiled, I think. You know, 
out. This one's running great. Right. Um, but nothing runs like a brand new saw. So. Yeah. Oh. I had a couple customers that actually bought a bear for me today. She gave this to me. It says, be the reason someone smiles today. They were just so cool. Lloyd and Mary from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, so I put it over there in my little personal collection. I love stuff like that. You know, she puts your hands about randomly to people all the time. Man, I was makes me want to do more stuff like that, you know. And so, yeah, just all around good day. I figured I'd kind of fill you in on what 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 happened today. And uh, yeah, I was working on another video. I was doing this little flower thing, this piece of cedar. Again, my memory got all full, and so none of it recorded. But it's all good. But tell me about y'all. I talk about myself quite a bit. I mean, it is my YouTube channel, but. Yeah. Have you guys tried any kind of carvings? Any kind of woodworking? Like, what are you guys into? Uh, carving wasn't always the, my go-to thing. I tried tattoo, metal art. I played drums for a while. Uh, motorcycle, build motorcycles. Um, just everything. Everything I could get my hands, like creative. Like, that always made me feel so fulfilled. Um, Well, I hadn't played drums in a few years. And my uh, my motorcycle actually caught on fire last year, so I got to rebuild it this winter. Um, but tell me about you guys. Like, tell me about yourself. I'm not going. I'm just going to make this a little quick video. Maybe I'll do like a little daily recap thing. I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. I know this weekend's going to be busy. Uh, the holiday weekend, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of recording. But at night, in this kind of setting, is is one I can really kind of focus on it and set them on to uh, work on editing this video and just kind of include y'all in my in my daily life let you know what goes on every couple days or something and and go from there but hey, I really appreciate you guys watching this it's, it's uh it's a cool thing it's a really cool thing to me and and I've got a few comments I need to respond and I'm gonna go ahead and apologize I suck I suck at responding to text messages and phone calls um, I think that that's why when I get a little office manager here, it's going to help me out a lot in, in that direction. And, um, yeah, tell me about you guys. You know, if you have any questions for me, I'm an open book. I'd be happy to uh, to, to answer any questions. And, and uh, yeah, we'll put some tutorials up. I've watched a couple videos uh, recently on some carvers, and there's some really, really cool carving videos out there and some of these guys and girls are, are so so talented and uh, there's one guy in particular I can't remember his name he's out of Canada oh what is his name I'll put a little thing on the bottom here when I figure it out but he does like a little daily thing I watch his stuff all the time and he's super cool it's like a raw video and he's carving and just talking and and uh there's another guy, what's his name, maybe Ryan or something. He's got like crazy blonde hair. What's his name? Anyway, I'll put it on the thing. Um, does a really good job. Does a really good job of explaining stuff. And the thing with wood carving, and I've said this a bunch, like there's no right or wrong way. It's just uh, how we all perceive it. There's no set like, this is how you do this, all the, you know. Constantly with carving, I'm, I'm adjusting and taking a little bit off here and a little bit off here. See how I like it here, you know, moving the log around and, and all that stuff. So, let me know if you guys got in, in, into any projects and what you guys do, or can, if you can post pictures, post some pictures up. So I do have a Facebook page, Fat Balls of Wood Co. Check it out. Um, feel free to comment on anything, and I uh, appreciate y'all watching this. Really, um, and. We'll continue this journey on changing the world one piece at a time together. So, love y'all. Hope you guys have had a blessed day. Um, man, I'm just, just grateful y'all. Like I said from Indiana, be the reason someone smiles today. I think we all could use a smile today. Yeah.
Oh, they're not that. Love y'all. Bye.